need more shots. Have you guys ever started to think that maybe we drink too much? No. Never. Why? You ask. Do you, do you guys think maybe we should stop and think that we drink too much? I mean, look at this. It's Tuesday. It's a fucking Tuesday. I consider this conceptual art. I agree. If you don't change your dialogue. And a fire town, this is Baby Slayer 69. Perimeter is secure. It's unbelievable. Some friends, huh? I mean, the first girl I have a real connection with since my divorce, and Joe D goes and fucks her. Ah, with friends like that, who needs enemies? Oh, come on! Oh, come on, Kelly. I didn't know they were gonna throw me a housewarming party. Mike, I am so pissed right now, I think you should just leave for a while. But how is this my fault? They're your friends, Mike. You should know better than to have them over. I was just as surprised as you were that they were in the apartment anyways. And frankly, I don't know how they got in here. I think this will explain it. A sheet rope? Fucking Jody. Fucking Jody. Why, Donald? Why do I always put myself in situations that lead me into trouble? It's not my fault that women find me so attractive. Ever since I was a little kid, I've had this power over women. I remember when I first lost my virginity at the tender age of 11 to our housekeeper, Rosie. Oh, she was a giver. I remember she took my hand and led me up the stairs. Up the stairs, Anna Fire 10. Baby Slayer 69's got your back. You know, on top of all that, the guy I threw the party for, Mike, He's actually pissed at me because I threw him the goddamn party in the first place. You know, the nerve of some people. I mean, that selfish motherfucking commie fascist twat smear piece of shitty asshole eating cunt face bastard. Hey, grenade, grenade, grenade. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ew. Fucking Jody. Ew. Ew. I'm gonna have to burn this bed. This was a graduation present from my grandma. We don't have to burn the bed, Kelly. We just have to burn the sheets and the blankets, that's all. Ew, 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 ew. Joe D and some skank had sex on my bed, Mike. What? You think I'm happy about this? Fucking Seth should know better than to bring over a liquor Joe D over with an unattended woman here. God, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Uh, sure, I should not have slept with Seth's date, but I am not responsible for my actions when I have ingested that much alcohol. And, and besides, Seth knows better than to leave me alone when I am drunk and there is Punani about. Of course you know that better than most people, don't you, Donald? With your clenched, Botox-filled lips and your wavy, hay-like comb-over. You're like a Germanic god. That's probably why you've had so many woman suitors. And that is another thing! That's another thing, Mike. Your place? I have been living here for a year and have not had a housewarming party yet, but allegedly you get my folks to sign it over to you and have a party within a day? How many times do I have to say this? I didn't know my moron friends were throwing me a party. And what do you mean allegedly? What do you mean allegedly? It is a known fact that Jamie Lee Curtis was born with a penis. It is in a jar at the University of Arizona. And that bed. How are you supposed to have tolerable sexual relations on a mattress that is so lumpy? Talk about uncomfortable. I'm going to have to bring it up to Mike and Kelly at some point. Yeah, you're probably right. I should wait for things to settle down. Settle down, Hannah Fire 10. Baby Slayer 69 has got the window covered. I mean, Jesus H. fucking Christ. You know, now what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm going to end up alone, sitting on the toilet seat, masturbating into an old sock to the Sears catalog with, with a half-empty bottle of lube sitting on the sink. You know what I mean? <laughs>